The CH-53K King Stallion is the United States Marine Corps' heavy lift replacement for the CH-53E Super Stallion. The most powerful helicopter in the Department of Defense, the CH-53K, is a new build helicopter that will expand the fleet's ability to move more material more rapidly throughout the area of responsibility using proven and mature technologies. But boy, the King Stallion is expensive as hell. Back in April 2017, a leaked decision memo revealed that each CH-53K would cost around $138.5 million. A month later, that figure had ballooned to $144 million apiece. All of these figures are well above the multi-million dollar price tag of the F-35A Lightning II Joint Strike Fighter. The King Stallion can lift almost 14 tons at a mission radius of 110 nautical miles in Navy hot environments. The King Stallion is designed to lift triple the baseline CH-53E lift capability with an equivalent logistics shipboard footprint, lower operating costs per aircraft, and less direct maintenance man hours per flight hour. The King Stallion's internal cargo bay has been expanded by 12 inches and can accept a broader range of payload and payload arrangements. Earlier in the development of the CH-53K, Marine Corps program managers said the requirement for the new helicopters is to be able to lift 27,000 pounds, take the load 110 nautical miles, stay 30 minutes on station, and then be able to return to a ship under hot conditions. This lift capacity is three times more than the 9,000-pound liftability of the existing Echo model. The initial requirement for the K-model CH-53 emerged out of the need to build a variant with much more lift. The design benefits from several other improvements, including efficient fourth-generation composite rotor blades. Pilots are aided by an entire glass cockpit, easing flight load. King Stallion mechanics also benefit from components that are lower maintenance than the Super Stallion. Engineers from Sikorsky said that engineers were using a handful of new technologies to achieve greater lift, speed, and performance with the helicopter. This includes the integration of a new, more powerful GE T408 turboshaft engine for the aircraft. Earlier in the CH-53KS development, Sikorsky Weapons developers said the design involves an all-composite skinned airframe, fourth-generation rotor blades, and a combination of new airfolds, taper, integrated cuff, and a modified tip deflection of the blade. The helicopter will also be configured with infrared countermeasures, a high-tech laser jammer designed to throw incoming missiles off course. In addition, the CH-53K uses what developers refer to as a split-torque transmission design, which transfers high-power, high-speed engine output to lower-speed, high-torque rotor drive in a weight-efficient manner. The King Stallion is fly-by-wire capable and uses the latest in what's called condition-based maintenance, a method wherein diagnostic sensors are put in place to monitor systems on the aircraft in order to better predict and avert points of mechanical failure. Still, the King Stallion's development hasn't always been smooth. During testing, several design flaws were discovered, including engines ingesting exhaust gases, rotor gears with shorter than expected service lives, and problems with the helicopter's drive shaft and tail rotor. Heavier lift helicopters bring new tactical dimensions to both expeditionary and maritime warfare as they enable more dispersed operations. Forward operating and otherwise disconnected force concentrations can be resupplied with supplies, weapons, and ammunition by heavier helicopter transportation loads, changing the tactical equation. A combat outpost in an island area in the Pacific can more easily receive reinforcements from amphibiously launched heavy lift helicopters. A CH-53K would also be better positioned to, for instance, sling load mobile artillery weapons or even light tactical vehicles into high-risk land combat areas as well. Thank you for watching. Subscribe.